Right. Can you tell us what you are seeing in L.A. on the front lines? Yes, thank you, Scott. Uh, we are certainly seeing uh, COVID-19. Lots of patients are coming in. At this point, we're into uh, the illness about two or three weeks, and now we're beginning to see more and more patients with more severe disease, pneumonia, respiratory distress, a lot more patients requiring hospitalization. What ages of, of the patients are we talking about? It's, it's such concern in different parts of the country that the, the patients are getting younger. Uh, we are seeing younger patients. Um, 20s, 30s, 40s, all across the range. The younger patients tend to do better with this disease and they're able to hang in there and get better at home. Some still require hospitalization. The older patients who have less reserve, they tend to require hospitalization and many of them need to go to the ICU for additional care. Can you tell us how the hospital is coping tonight? Do you have the equipment you need? And if not, what do you need? Well, in terms of supplies, like other hospitals, we're monitoring the supply chain very carefully. We're worried about supplies. We've set up a donation page on our website where people or companies can donate. Uh, we're preparing. Right now, we are sort of preparing for the battle. We know that it's going to get tougher and tougher in the weeks and months ahead. We are training, preparing. All of our teams are focused completely on this disease while we're also monitoring our activities with everything else that comes through our door to make sure the patients get the best care possible. I mentioned to our doctor guest earlier the purchase by Elon Musk of the ventilators that he bought from, from China and is, is, has sent to, to California. Do you have any idea if your hospital will be receiving any of those? Not sure, but I know that our executive team is working uh, night and day trying to make sure that we have the supplies we need. And the same issues are just all across California, all across the nation, where all physicians on the front line, in the ICUs, in the rest of the hospital, everyone is concerned and everybody is working super hard to make sure that we have what we need to take care of patients when they need us the most. Yeah. Dr. Torbati, thank you so much for being with us tonight. We're grateful for your work and that of your colleagues. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much.